Hey, Mac here from K2 Music. Today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about pickups and what a pickup is. So we have electric guitars. This is an electric guitar that I pulled off the shelf and you can see that we have what are called pickups. And pickups are these little guys that are under the strings and what they are is a um, magnet wound with copper and they are used to create the sound of an electric guitar. If you listen to it right now, it's not very loud. I can play on it, but you can barely hear it. And we get a lot of people saying, well, what are the different pickups and what do they mean? So we're going to talk a little bit about those. Uh, and beside me here, I've got another guitar that I'm just going to switch real quick. And this guitar has pickups also, but you'll see that they look different than the other pickups. So we have two basic styles of pickups here. These are what are called single coil pickups, and the other ones which are called humbuckers, or there are two coils that are wound side by side that give you more of a powerful sound, and also they are less noisy. They won't give you a 60 cycle ground hum when you're playing. So, and these, you know, there are other pickups out there, but these are the most common, and I thought that I'd kind of just show you what they look like. I've got one torn apart here behind me. I've got a single coil pickup. Take a look at this. And usually you see them with a cover of some sort. You pull the cover off, and now you'll see this pickup, the windings on there, very fine copper windings that go around the magnets. Then two leads, they are soldered here to two leads, which I've cut off, you can see. And if they go off to the volume controls or to the tone controls or various other controls you might have on a guitar, switching systems or something. But we have this, here's the vibration of the strings on top, picks it up, transfers it, transfers it through the wires out a cable into an instrument amplifier. So this is a real cool little idea here. And you can see, I've, this, this, this is magnetized. I actually have a razor blade here just to show you, see that that's magnetized. So, so we're dealing with real magnets here. So behind me, I have this real crude little instrument. I was sitting around the store one day here and decided to try something out. I took a um, two by four, which we keep around the store in case, you know, in case we need to, who knows what. <laughs> I don't even know, I can't even tell you, build an instrument. And I had designed this instrument with, basically I took a pickup and I wired it to a cable. And this is a standard quarter inch plug, I'm going to plug it into a little portable amplifier here. And I've got this wire strung up over that. I just taught it, you know, with a, my little clear solo cup. So what's happening here, here's this pickup and you can hear when I touch it. And if I touch that with like a screwdriver, you can hear it's really loud. And that's sometimes how we test a pickup to make sure things are working around here. But we've got that string. It's vibrating on top of that, transferring the sound down the cable and out a little crude but simple amplifier. You know, so it's, you know, where I change the pitch of that is if I take a tuner key on a guitar and I tighten the string. And that's really what's happening on a guitar. Now on a guitar, all guitars have in common, well most of them anyways that I've ever heard, have a tuning key or something that will change the tension on the string that gets it to pitch. Now this isn't a fretted instrument here, this would be a fretless, uh, so there's no place here for me to play specific notes, you know. I get that idea of like a slide guitar where you're changing the length of the string by you can hear that pitch go up and change. In essence, that's what's happening on a guitar where there are frets. When you push down, it changes the length of the string. On this particular instrument here, we have a scale length of from my screw that I've put <laughs> into the wood to my clear solo cup. That would be, if I measured that, what would be called the scale length of the instrument. Not the total length of the instrument which if you're measuring a guitar, sometimes people say, what's the total length? But we're dealing with the scale length, and that is the string length. And that gives you the idea of where you find notes on the guitar. But again, this is a humbucker. There's two coils in here. I couldn't pull this cover off, but there are two little coils that are side by side, like in the first guitar that I showed you, that are wound, that are covered with a just a pickup cover. Some The other, first guitar that I showed you, I'll grab that again quickly, is the same kind of uh, 
same kind of thing. I'll lay that down. Is it quite a contrast right there? Gibson Les Paul and a Mac Board Custom. You know, I think in the long run, the Mac Board Custom might take a little bit better beating. But there's my humbuckers right there, which are two of these under the strings. Scale length of this guitar is from this, the bridge saddles right here, all the way up here to the nut. That's the length of the string. You know, you can see that's a lot longer than the Mac board custom. Idea is the same though, that that's picking up the wave, picking up that string moving, and that's what happens with a guitar. If I plug um, if I plugged this guitar in and did the same thing, it's exactly the same thing. I'm just taking now I've got this guitar has electronics in it, but I can plug this into an amplifier. And now I've got six strings. Okay, so this one might be a little bit better than the Mac board custom, but you can see it's the same principle. This pickup is listening to that string. Now, where the pickup is placed along the string makes a difference. We have this guitar. If I go to this pickup, the sound is a little different. I don't know if you can hear that on film and all, but because where the pickup is, it's further towards the middle of the string. It's a rounder, rounder sound. This is a little sharper. Again, how do I know which one is which? I can tap it. Hear that? And then I, this one wouldn't make any sound, but then I flick the switch. There it is. And I've done just a simple test. Come over here to the MacBoard Custom. The same idea can go along. I can take this pickup. You can. Ooh, if I put now, that's feedback when the sound comes from the pickup into that. Kind of fun. And if I move. Well, my solder, my solder job is a fail, but there it is right there. So these are the basic principles on how pickups work on an electric instrument, you know, primarily electric guitar or a homemade custom guitar, but that's the idea of electromagnet sending sounds through a cable to a little amplifier and hence the electric guitar.